Joe is a pimp. Good peoples. All right, yo. You guys have been going crazy on the last video. If you haven't go ahead, blah, 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 blah. If you haven't seen that video, go watch the club video right here. Um, that's one of my most lit videos. I love that video. It's a great video. I think you guys should go watch it. I just wanted to come on here and say what's up. I love you guys. We're almost at 200 subscribers. We're at uh, 140 right now. And I'm sorry, 130 something. 130. It was like it's like 135. Yeah, we're, one, we're, blah, 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 blah. we're at 135. Right. If we get 200 subscribers, bro, or if we get 200 subscribers before the end of the year, then we let I got a good uh, video dropping. If you guys remember, if you haven't seen this video, go watch it. Uh, I did trick or treating before Halloween, the day before Halloween. Funny video. I got chased by a dog and all that. It was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, go watch it if you haven't. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you guys. Let's get it. You know, it's uh, to me, it's just walking around every day. Just you know, when I'm going to a grocery store or going to pick up coffee or whatever it is, and people just coming on the street to say, "Bring back the gold." Next three, A one, A seven, S three. Look at all those lenses. Brett Ryan's crib, yo. They're watching a video. It's like a camera store. Yo. What a problem, Matt. Hey, you're gonna have to drink people off in order to come in. <laughs> they don't know who Reese is. Oh, how are we? Where are we gonna put this? Fucking... Ryan, you gotta introduce so gonna introduce yourself. One right to there, the and then one right here. Uh, I'm Weird Elkeberger. Uh, I do racing stuff. That's about it. <laughs> All right, what's good, y'all? I'm gonna do this Q and A. I ask questions on my Instagram and Snapchat. If you don't have me on either, then go follow. But yeah, y'all, finna do this. We're gonna get right into it. I wrote them down on my. Thing, like last time i haven't done a q a in like over a year so if you haven't watched that video go watch i'll put it right here but what advice would you give yourself five years ago five years ago 2017 um i would say start a youtube channel make music and take time with it and i feel like if i started a youtube channel back then it would have popped because a lot of funny shit happened and like it was high school like high school was pretty funny i miss high school but um yeah Start a YouTube channel, make music, and take your time with it, and go to the gym. That's pretty much it, but because everything happens for a reason, I'm that type of guy. So like, you know, everything that happened, I'm kind of glad it happened because it made me who I am. So I'm saying like, I wouldn't change anything, but just start a YouTube channel, go to the gym, and make music. Best moment in your life up to this second? Best moment in my life, that's a good question. I would say best moment, would be the Drake and Kanye concert. Why? Because I wasn't, so when the, when the tickets first came out, I was trying to get them, but it wouldn't let me get them. I don't know if any, any of you went, but it wouldn't let me get them because I was like stuck in the queue and there was way too many people trying to buy it. So I was, I was trying to buy it for like three hours. Literally, I was at work, I had my phone and I was just trying to buy it for three hours and it wouldn't let me. So I was like, fuck it, it's not meant to be, right? A couple of weeks go by and then three days before the concert, uh, my homegirl, she texted me, she's like, you going to the concert, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, like I couldn't get the ticket. She's like, oh, well they're selling them right now and they're more cheaper than they are. And I was like, whoa. So I went and I got $90, I paid $90. It was beautiful, like it was, it literally was meant to be. I went, I went with the homie Adrian and I did a vlog on it. It's called the best night of my life. Cause it was Drake and Kanye are my two favorite artists. So it was, it was meant to be, like I was meant to be there. That was a great moment. What's your main goal to achieve happiness? See like, I like that question and I don't because I'm not trying to like achieve happiness because if I feel like if I, I'm trying to achieve happiness, I'm never gonna be happy. Cause I feel like life is just like this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying my best just to stay like this. So like, I just, I would say like my main goal to achieve peace is just take care of myself and do what I wanna do in life. And do, what makes me, do what makes me satisfied with myself. Then fourth question, when's the Joe album dropping? Um, not for a while. I don't plan on dropping music for a while. Like I want to have a name um, before I drop music. So, like I want I want my YouTube channel to pop before I start making music. That like, cause making music was like one of the main main reasons why I started my YouTube channel last year because I wanted you guys to get to know me in like a certain way. Or, like my no, I wanted you guys to get to know me in a different way besides my music. So, like I have something to fall off with with music, not fall off, but back <sighs> something to back up with with music. So like now, but now I have like kind of a different plan with YouTube. Cause I, yeah, I still want to drop music. Like that's still my main plan. Like my dream is selling out Dodger Stadium. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to do that. But and performing in front of the crowd while they're singing their music back at you, like 
I really want to do that. So, um, like, that's my dream. But YouTube, like, I really now, as it's like more of a competitive thing, I want to be the best YouTuber ever. So, like, that's why I'm trying to grow with every aspect and every way of YouTube and with myself. Because one, I want to be the best YouTuber ever and the best artist ever. And I feel like I can do that. But, all right, next question. Dream vacation and who is there? I would say dream vacation would be me and the boys. And I don't know necessarily where, like I don't have a set destination where like, oh, this is my spot. Like probably Dubai. I would probably say a boys trip to Dubai and we just go to the club so you can get the most females and stuff like that. Like that'd be cool. We spend the most money. Like that would be dope. That's my dream vacation, going with the boys. But um, Starbucks order. Ice caramel macchiato. Upside down with extra caramel light ice. Gas. One person you look up to. One person I look up to. You see him right here, Kobe. And then you also see Drake. Also Chris Paul. That's three people I look up to, but those are my main things. And my grandpa. Shout out grandpa. Favorite memory. Favorite memory. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of like the same question as the other one. Um, probably sub Drake and Kanye concert. Go to fast food place. McDonald's. McDonald's always been my go-to. Halloween costume. Halloween costume, I'm gonna be Spider-Man, obviously. If I do dress up, like if there's a party, like a Halloween costume, I'm gonna dress up as Spider-Man. But I'm also, I got a video plan, so be ready for that. Um, how did 2020 COVID affect you? Oh, I like this question. How did 2020 COVID affect me? Me personally, 2020 was the best year of my life. Cause like, it was the best year of my life, cause in my opinion, so far, because it like, my senior year got short and like I was I was pretty depressed like it was just Rona I was just in my room I didn't know what the hell I was doing with my life and like it just helped me grow in so many ways like mentally like I changed my body like it was crazy like I just grew so much during Rona season and it was cool like I'm very very thankful for it and not a lot of people like it or thankful for it but like and, like I'm so thankful for it because like it made me who I am and like it just made me realize what I want to do in life you get what I'm saying and who I am I don't know how it affected you. Let me know how I did in the comments. Let me know. All right, next question. Tattoo count. I have, I only have three tattoos. I got this one. Wait, can you see me? I have this one, this one, and then I have the one on my arm. I'm not gonna take my sweater off, but I have the one on my arm. You guys have seen that. Um, I wanna get more, like I wanna finish my sleeve and I'm gonna get one on my chest and that's it. But I only have three right now. Now, what keeps you up at night? Ooh, I like this question. What keeps me up at night? I'll say my future, 100%. Like, I'm just thinking, when is my YouTube gonna blow? Um, like, am I actually gonna make it? Which I know I'm gonna make it, but that's just a thought. Like, I always have my confidence. Like, I believe in myself. I don't need no one to believe in me. Cause I got God and I got me. So, I know I'm gonna make it, but it's just like, it's always a thought, you know what I'm saying? So, next question. Um, top five defensive players in the NBA. Um, top five defensive players, like right now, Kawhi Leonard, he's just been injured, it don't mean nothing. Kawhi Leonard. Draymond Green, um, Pat Bev, people like it or not, Pat Bev is a great defender. Um, who else, dude? Anthony Davis, for sure. But he's overrated offensively. Anthony Davis is one of the most overrated players in the NBA, in my opinion. He's hurt every other game. It just doesn't make sense to me. But Kawhi Leonard, Draymond Green, Pat Bev, Anthony Davis, number five, I'll probably say Chris Paul, because he's always top leaderboard with steals and I love Chris Paul I'm not being biased but he's just a great defensive player like he knows the game in every way but um, all right 15 body count um you know I'm in a new chapter of my life so I'm a newfound virgin clap it up everybody I'm just just not a part of my life anymore I'm in a new chapter of my life I'm a new virgin zero thoughts on cheating um I don't think you should cheat. Like, if you're gonna be in a relationship, like, don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get into a relationship, obviously, if you wanna be with other girls. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, if you're gonna cheat, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It don't make sense to me. I'm not a cheater. And that's why I'm not in a relationship, because I'm not really, I'm not ready to commit. Just because it's not one, I don't want to. And two, I'm just trying to get somewhere in life. Simple as that. 17, would you rather have. Guys, the person who asked this question likes pickles. I'm letting you know right now. But would you rather have an itchy butt or throw up every time you see the letter A? We're, uh, I hate this question, but I'll probably say itchy butt. Just cause like, letter A is right there already, or 
can't do it right there letter a is right oh my gosh right there already like no i'm not doing that so i'd rather have an itchy butt okay favorite childhood memory i would say going to my first laker game going to my first laker game that was a great experience they were playing the memphis grizzlies and this is when the memphis grizzlies memphis grizzlies were like the best defensive team in the nba the 2012 grizzlies if you watch basketball like they were amazing that was they were a great defensive team but that was a great that was a great memory i remember that what made me start a youtube channel like i said music but now like i'm looking trying to be the best um youtuber i can be like i grew up watching youtube like um cash nasty bdg osn illuminati flight reacts like those are my guys those were my guys growing up watching youtube like i would fall asleep watching youtube youtube was like my tv so how many kids do i want I want three kids. If I ever have kids, I want three kids. But I really plan on having kids anytime soon. But yeah. If you had three wishes, what would they be? I would choose three wishes. Superpowers, for sure. Um, $500 billion. Yeah, superpowers, $500 billion. And I don't know. What would the third one be like? Superpowers, money. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. Okay. Favorite NBA player, Chris Paul. 100%. I love Chris Paul. I love Chris Paul. Where do you see yourself in five years? Ooh, I like that. In five years, I see myself having a million subscribers and dropping my first couple songs hopefully hopefully it doesn't take five years so please go like comment subscribe right now i really hope it doesn't take five years for me to get a million subscribers but you guys plan you get what i'm saying so yeah five years a million subscribers and hopefully dropping a lot of music by then but biggest fears i would say the ocean the ocean 100 percent. i am so scared of the ocean dude it's just literally like we don't know nothing we don't we don't know what's in there so it's like why would i go in there you get what i'm saying like no not for me at all but that's just me personal i love you guys make sure you like comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this little q a get to know me a little more let me know if you guys want me to do these more like with the boys or anything like that i haven't done one of these in a year it's literally been like a year or coming up on a year but i love you guys make sure you like comment subscribe again and we out Tear the roof up off this bitch, nigga